You're too resilient for what's been coming your way. You're too resilient and you've been overcoming attacks. You've been actually um, escaping the plans that the enemy has had for you. You understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of you where you've been dealing with just an overwhelming amount of envy, of jealousy, of betrayal, of evil, of people being um, deceptive, deceitful. You know, there's a lot that you guys have been dealing with on this journey because of who you are, because of the things you said, because of what you stand on, because of the path that you're taking in your life. Um, a lot of you have asked all the time, you know, how am I still alive or why am I going through what I'm going through? The devil might have had his foot on your neck, but be glad he didn't crush it. And he's even getting to the point where it's like nothing can kill you. Nothing can take you out. Nothing can defeat you. Nothing can discourage you. You keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? They can't kill you. They can't take you out. They can't knock you up off your square. If you do, it's temp. If they do, it's temporary. So a lot of people right now are discussing how resilient, how resilient you are, how strong you are, and they're going over these plans that they have for you. And somebody, some of these people don't want these plans to come out. They don't want to be linked to the plans that they had for you. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be linked to what it is that they've been doing behind your back because what they've been doing was supposed to have knocked you out by now. What they was doing was supposed to have you dead by now. What they was doing was supposed to have you out your mind by now. And no matter what it is that you're going through, no matter what it is that you've experienced, you still keep pushing forward. And that's because of the strength that's within you. A lot of you guys know what it is that you're called to do, what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of you guys already know the journey that you're on, the path that you're taking. You already know everything that it entails um, and everything that's required of you. You know what I'm saying? To whom much is given, much is expected in return. And see, there are a lot of people who have been seeing the little things that you've been accomplishing in your life. And these people have been having hands and trying to set you back, take from you. Um, these people have been making false reports on you. There's There's been lies that's been told behind your back. There's a lot of missing, moving parts to this whole operation um, going against you. You get what I'm saying? There's people who don't know you that's been aiding these people. So there's a lot that, that you need to be aware of right now and using your discernment and who you trust and who's around you. And who's who and who's been working with who because for people that have taken it this far you got to know that they're not they don't plan on giving up no time soon or giving up that easy just because it didn't take you out or just because it's, it's a lot of people is feeling like i gotta just exert more energy or put more resources or invest more into it or get more people on board but they're going to be disappointed in their plans against you but you guys all in all are so resilient and that's what i really wanted to come on here and tell you whatever it is that you've been going and battling against whoever's been working up against you whatever plans that they have for you you understand what i'm saying you have to understand something maybe some of these people had love for you but the mere fact that these people have some more healing that they have to do they inadvertently placed a whole lot of burdens and pain upon you and i don't think people really took the time to understand okay you know, abusing you physically, abusing you emotionally, abusing you mentally was not something that they should have done to somebody who did nothing but brought love, admiration and support and care towards their way. There's a lot of people that you have to be real weary of and mindful of who you give your love to, who you give your support to, because some of y'all just was feeding it into a black hole, an empty vessel that didn't know how to give it back to you because it was never given to them. And so you may ask yourself why I encountered this person or why did God allow this to happen to me? Or why am I going through this period or phase of my life that I told myself I would never be back in again? There's something that you have to take from it. There's something, uh, you know, that you have to take from it, that you have to learn from it. You know, maybe it was something that you thought you healed from that you didn't heal from. Maybe there's a message that you have to take from that. Whatever it is, I always tell you everything happens for a reason. And everything that you go through, if it don't kill you, it make you stronger. And if it's good, it's a blessing after learning a lesson. So, you know, take everything with um, great stride, you know, and keep your head up, keep your chin up, keep your chest out cry if you have to pray if you have to ask questions if you have to but whatever you do don't stop doing what it is that you're called to do don't stop moving don't stop living don't stop praying don't stop keeping hope don't stop keeping your faith don't stop being positive don't let the evil and the darkness in the world change who you are to make you conform 
because that's what it was supposed to do was do just that try to make you conform try to make you fold try to make you break trying to change who you are in hopes that you will forfeit your destiny or it will run it run you off track so far where you don't even know how to get back into stepping into your purpose again and these people's reign, like I told you before, it's over. It's over going back to the drawing board and figuring out what can we do to set them back? Who can we send this time to take from them? Who can we send this time to beat them up? Who can we send this time to tear them down? If it takes all of this, I tell you all the time, for one you, all these people pressing, trying to make you feel some type of way about them dealing with you or not dealing with you, being your friend, not being your friend, liking you, not liking you. It's a lot of y'all that's just keeping y'all composure because of the situation that you're in. People don't know you. They don't know that you a killer in the spiritual. They don't, they don't understand how you can actually send back what they've been doing to you ten, tenfold. And these people will not make it. You've been keeping the peace. You've been being the bigger person. Not because you want to, but because you've been asked to. And because you know that being obedient is going to get you to where you want, you want to be and where God needs you to be. So these people really need to be mindful and watch their step. Because push come to shove, if you need to defend yourself, you know how to do that. If you need to protect yourself, you and yours, you know how to do that. So people need to understand that even, but God ain't even going to let it get to that point because there's a protection and a force field around you that protects you from this foolishness and from this evil that people been doing. That's why they already feeling it in so many ways and different aspects and areas of their life. My baby smiling at me. Um, my baby smiling at me. That's confirmation for a lot of y'all. Like in so many ways, God been smiling on you. Like he's been getting you out of every hell hole that these people been throwing you in. He's been pulling you out the dirt, pulling you out the furnace. You understand what I'm saying? Delivering you from these plans, telling you what to do to escape these people's plans that they have for you. I'm talking something serious here. When people go this far to do things illegal towards you, either spiritually doing things illegal, physically doing things illegal, they can't get caught because if to get caught, it blows their whole cover. It messes up everything that they got going on. You know, this you was just supposed to be a person that they came across that they did the same thing that they've been doing to other people. You was just supposed to be somebody that it was supposed to be easy to knock you up off your score. It's supposed to be easy to um, defeat you. You still living though. You still kicking. You still moving. You still talking. You still breathing. You would be in a position or someone would speak up for you on how you was targeted. If you've been targeted and you still here, still talking still moving still living trust and believe with these kind of people and how they do it that's not normal and god has big things in store for you because of your resilience thing you understand what i'm saying like it's not easy being on this journey it's not easy knowing that um there's going to be people who rob you there's going to be people who beat you up there's going to be people who are narcissistic who don't want the best for you people who try to sit up here and tell you what you need to be doing but they don't take their own advice you understand what i'm saying out here saying you know what what you out here doing and, and what's wrong and how you need to be moving and how you need to be talking and how you need to be living but when it comes to taking their own advice of what they tell people they catch amnesia you understand what i'm saying there's a lot of people who've been trying to say things about your past say things about what you've been through say things about um how you think, how you move to try to discourage you and make you doubt who you are. Journey and the path that you're on and the blessings that's in store for you. A lot of people knew what was in store for you, but you didn't know. And so they've been making things really hard for you behind the scenes. They've been watching your every move, keeping tabs on you. You understand what I'm saying? Like you are these people's project and assignment. And I don't think you realized the eyes that was on you, the, the the targets that was on your back because you was just out here moving, living. Nothing was told to you. There was no forewarning given to you. You understand what I'm saying? And so when everything hit you, it hit you like a ton of bricks. And they thought that it, that was going to take you out. It was like, for sure, like, ain't no way they're going to overcome this one. I don't know how they overcame last time, but there's no way they're going to overcome this one. You're resilient. You've learned from every attack. For a lot of you, y'all been so resilient against this poison people were serving to you. Y'all been resilient against these traps that were set out to kill you, that was set out to have you kidnapped, that was set out to have something evil and like diabolical happen to you. 
And see, a lot of people got to sit back and ask themselves, you know, at the end of the day, we may not have liked them. We may have been envious of them or jealous of them because we didn't want this to happen. It's not even that we don't love them. We just hate that it's them. But at the same time, they didn't do anything to us to deserve this kind of treatment or the plans that we had for them. Because the plans that people have for you should have been dead by now. The plans, the plans that people had for you, you weren't supposed to be alive. You weren't supposed to be in your right mind. There were a lot of lies that was told on you. And see, it's time that the people who've been behind these operations and these missions and these plans get exposed because you need to be safe. You are valuable to the kingdom of God. You are a good person. You put too much good out in order to receive the bad that you've been getting from people. So you're learning in every cycle, every cycle that you overcome, every trap. That, that you're able to escape. You get what I'm saying? You learn. And once you learn from it, they, they, these people can't get you in that way again. It just shows how strong you are and how resilient you are. So be proud of yourself and where you are and be happy for everything that's about to come your way and where you're going. And until next time, I love y'all. Keep y'all head up. Stay prayed up. Understand if you need a friend, you got it in me. You need love, you got it in me. You need inspiration, motivation, life example. You already know you got it in me. I come with that real, never that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you, okay? Continue to reach one, teach one, bring others to the JC gang. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love y'all.